We're in chapter seven now, where we're gonna be computing uh, the normal distribution, but instead of just one uh, item or one sample, our sample size is now gonna be uh, more than one. Now, if you notice, A and B are really similar. Uh, they're both greater than 28 inches, but A, part A is where a single randomly caught uh, coho salmon or fish is greater than 28 inches and part B is where 15 have a mean or an average greater than 28 inches. Now getting one fish more than 28 inches, so the average fish is 27, let's write this down. Don't know why this is all bold. So the mu is 27, standard deviation S is 3. Alright, so without typing anything in yet, we're trying to see what's the chance that a uh, random fish is tw 28 inches or more, which is bigger than the mean. So it should be a little bit less than half because if it was exactly 27 inches here, you get exactly 50% or 0.5. So we're looking for probabilities you know, greater than X is greater than 28. And I'm closing the parentheses outside and we're using this norm dist up here. So I'm using the tab key to select it. Um, if you ever forget, it just tells you what all the variables are here, what order. So first one's the X value, not the mean, but the X value. So ours is 28. The mean is mu or 27. Standard deviation is that. And we're always going with true here to make it cumulative. All right, I'm gonna use this over and over again. And the mean, the red and the purple, I do not want those to move. So with the red, I'm gonna lock in the row. The purple, I'm gonna lock in the row. Uh, you can lock in the columns if you want by putting another dollar sign, but um, I don't think we need to do it here. All right, now I just said before, um, copy this. I just said before we were looking for a proportion that's less than half because we're looking for a bigger fish than average so it should be less than half so what's wrong here we got slightly more than half and that's because the norm dist tells you the proportion of uh, items or the probability an item would be smaller than that value so we want larger or the opposite probability so we're going to do one minus this number and that'll give us the opposite probability um, so that makes sense. It's a little smaller than 0.5. And that's because we had greater than. All right, part B is the same, except now there's 15 coho. And the difference is now we're going to be using, instead of just S, it's S divided by square root of N, and N is the sample size. So we're going to type the N value in here. So just remember 15 is how many fish? and 28 is the length of the fish. So I have n is 15 here. I'm gonna copy all the same stuff right here and paste it. And it should be exactly the same values as above. Uh, the difference is we're gonna, instead of just using s right here, we now have to divide it by square root of n. So it's slash sqrt parentheses and I'm clicking the N value right there. Uh, I'm not gonna put a dollar sign here because later on uh, there's 18 fish in part D and five fish in part F, so they each are gonna need their own N value. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna wanna use 15 for all of them. So there we go. And again, it's, it's that one minus because we want uh, a mean greater than, not less than. Now what happened here, this probability went from 36% uh, to less than 10%. So what we're doing, we're trying to find fifth, the chance of 15 fish having a mean greater than 28. So we don't just need to pull out one large fish, we need to pull out a majority or mostly large fish here and the chance of that goes down. The more fish you pull out, uh, the closer to the mean uh, so the actual mean of 27 inches, you're going to find that the, the fish are overall. Uh, so the more fishing you do, the closer to average 
your, uh, your average fish will be. Of course, you're going to find individually big and small fish, but if you average all your fish together, that's what would happen. All right, probability that a single randomly caught coho is less than 25 inches. So we could grab this here, copy, paste. Now it's a single again, just like part A, but the difference is now less than 25. So I changed the number, but uh, let's think about what's happening here. 25 inches is shorter than uh, the average. So we're looking for the probability a single fish is less than a number smaller than the average. So it's going to be less than half. So what's happening here, you do not want that one minus. The regular norm dist tells you the probability that this value is less than, um, or the, the probability that, that you'll get a value less than this right here. I'll just take out that one minus. Copy and paste this right here too. All right, so there we go. That's a 0.25. And now we're gonna do part D. So now we have 18 right there. So we're gonna reproduce what we had in part B. All right, uh, part B. So copy all this, paste. Now we have 25 inches. And again, the one minus norm dist, this is for probability greater than. We want a probability less than, just like we had last time. So I'm gonna take out this one minus and make this consistent, x less than. Okay, so there we go. Now what happened there, um, we're getting a lot of fish now, 18 fish, and 25 is two inches less than the mean. Uh, so we're looking for a larger group of fish further away from the mean. Um, and so that's why this is such a small number. It's less than 1%. Uh, so not very likely. All right, part E. It's less than 25. B14. Oh, I did this. What I typed is right here, but um, N needs to be 18. That's what's going on. So I said 15, but never edited that value. All right, so that's even less. Okay, because we're not looking for 15, we're looking for 18. All right, part E. Now we're trying to uh, get a single but it's not greater than or less than, it's in between two values. So let's go, I like the less than a little more. So I'm gonna grab this right here. Uh, and I'm not gonna grab the last formula there, I want some more space. So I'm gonna put this in twice. And what I want is a 25 and a 30. So I'll leave that at 25 and this will be a 30. So this is the probability I catch one less than 25, and this is the probability I catch one less than 30. So we want between 25 and 30. So what we're gonna do is take the probability I catch one less than 30, and then remove or subtract the probability is less, it's also less than 25. And so that'll give me the probability between 25 and 30. So it's gonna be big minus small equals Big minus small. And if you do small minus big, you'll just get a negative value. Uh, so you can flip that around if that happens. Uh, there we go. All right. There's another option to do this. I could do it with greater than instead of less than. And I'm going to just copy and paste this real quick and show you what that looks like. All right, what happened here? Um, it's because if you look, I locked down the row, but not the column. So when I pasted it to the right, these two got messed up. Uh, easy to fix. You can just drag all these things where they should be. Where was this? Nope, that blue one is okay. Uh, I'll fix this. All right, 
So we have x greater than, and this one x greater than, and now we're doing the one minus, because that's greater than. So again, we did one minus, because I switched x to be greater than. And now I'm taking this, copying and pasting right there. And notice we get different numbers, but if you look big minus small, it's almost the same thing, but it's what I warned you is that if you do small minus big, you just get a negative sign. A few ways to fix it, I can just change the order. K17 minus K18, I get the positive version. Okay. So we're almost there, we're gonna do part F now. In part F, I'm only gonna use um, the, the less thans, not the greater thans. And I'm leaving an extra space here because we also need to account for, we're not looking for one fish, we're looking for five fish. So N is five. And the only thing that changes is in the norm dist, you're right here, standard deviation, you need to divide by square root of N. So divide by square root b20, I'll copy that. And I could just delete, and then if I drag it down, uh, notice that did jump right there. I do need to make sure my n is the right value. Probably would have been smart to go b$20, dollar sign and then I could have just drag this one down, okay. And so right there is 91% chance it's between 25 and 30 inches. And that should make sense because uh, you're going for five coho. So you're getting five of them. They're gonna be closer to the average generally, the population average. And remember the average length is 27. So this is a little below 27, a little above 27. So there's a really good chance if you catch five fish, they're gonna be relatively close to the average, which is exactly what this is saying, 91, almost 92% chance they're gonna be close to the average.